from your canva home page you're going to open your logo canvas you're going to select a blank canvas and we're going to access our text and add text to the page i'm going to use the horizon font as it's nice and big and bold and i'm going to be using len with zaz initials for this one so we're going to go lz or len with za and we're going to make it nice and big and size it next we're going to add the line curve that we're going to slash through our text we're going to click on elements and search for curved line and the name of this line that we're using so that you know where to find it if you go to info it's called line by ouch so you're going to take your line and size it make it a little bit big rotate it and move it ever so gently so that it slices through to your letters if you need to flip it you're going to flip it horizontally and then move it ever so gently to slice your design and you're going to go to your nudge and you're going to nudge it down like that so that it slices through your corners over at the z and the l like that once you've sliced it nicely like this you're going to add a shape a square so you're going to go to your plus sign and go to your shapes and elements and add a square shape and we're going to change color so that we can see what we're doing you can pick any color that you want i'll go with yellow on this one and then you're going to size your square and rotate it also ever so nicely and gentle in such a way that it slices through on the line so you're gonna tweak it and size it until it is just on the line and it's slicing through nicely like that then you're going to duplicate your shape by clicking on duplicate and moving the bottom section so that it is slicing and always use your nudge with designing on the phone not my favorite way of designing but we do what we need to do then we nudge it until we can't see anything like that once it's gone completely covered you're then going to go to the next page and click on grid view and you're going to duplicate your page one so that you have the exact same page on page two. Then you're going to go back to page one, double click on page one, and then you're going to click the top section. You're going to change the color. You make that white. You're going to click the bottom section and you're going to delete that so that it gives you the bottom section that's slashed. Then you're going to go back to page two and you're going to click on the bottom page and you're going to change the color for that and make that white. And you clip the top section and you delete that. And then you have your page one and page two slashed nicely like that. And now we're happy. We're going to download our designs as transparent background. If you don't have transparent background and you want to play around and test this, go to my description below and try Canva Pro for, for 30 days. But what we're going to do now, we're going to click transparent background. We're going to download the two pages and then we can move to the next step. Great stuff. Now it's downloaded. We're going to close our gallery. We're going to go back to our grid view and then add a third page. And we open the third page and then we upload our downloaded files that we just download. Then you're gonna click on upload file and then you're going to add your pages. Once your design has been uploaded, you're going to open page number three, then you're going to find it and add it on the page. So we'll start with the top section. We're gonna add the Z and what you then do is you're going to go to your effects and you're going to remove the background and then you're going to size it and then make the size of your design that you want to design for your logo so let's make it a 379 by 177 
and then we're gonna go and find the bottom section again we're gonna go to effects and remove the background to take away the white and we also size it and then align it to the bottom section size it 379 and then we squeeze it nicely we're gonna go to the bottom section we're gonna nudge it nicely down so that we create that beautiful beautiful slash that we have created after you've done you're going to pick a section and then you're going to give it a nice color you're gonna go to your effects and then you're gonna look for duo tone and then you give a color that suits your design. I'm liking the yellow and the blue. And then I'm gonna go back to my nudge. I'm gonna nudge it right back or use my mouse. You know, I'm designing so nice and easy because I have this gadget that you see on the screen that I got from Amazon. So if you want to design on your phone, go get this tool. It is very helpful if you're designing on your phone. So you're going to go and download it as a transparent background. You're downloading page number three and then you jump to photo P and you convert it to 3D and you have done the design on your phone from back to back. When converting a logo to 3D and you're using photo P, use it on a browser and not on the app because you're going to struggle on the app. It works nicely on the browser preferably Chrome. Once you land on www.photop.com, you're gonna click on your PSD template or you could use your own template if you go open from computer. Then you're going to select your mockups and then you could pick any mockups that you would like to use for your design. I'm going to choose this one. You open it and you double click on the link and then it opens up. And you're gonna go to your layers or the three lines and you select it like that. And this is where the mouse comes in handy because you're gonna double click on the checkered box in order for it to open the eye where we hide the, the text. And you click on the eye to hide the text. You click on the layers again to close the layers. Then you're gonna go file, open and place to go find the design that you've just created from Canva and you select it to edit on your design and then it's added you then size it and align it and you're going to save it as a smart object so you go file save a smart object and you wait and then you click once where it says white logo or the first tab and you wait and your logo is converted and created and it looks like this so this is your slashed logo created on apps on a Canva app as well as on PhotoP, the browser. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see how we've converted this logo using it on a computer, go watch this video here. Otherwise, you could buy a course from learnwithzar.com, pure created for Canva logo designers. I will see you on the next video.